All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elden Ring. And uh, with this video here, we're going to explore a little bit. As you can see, we look a little bit different. Um, let me pull up the map here. I was uh, exploring around here after we beat the, um, I forget what his name was. I think it was uh, the Bloodhound Knight. I think the guy that we had to teleport to get to. And uh, after beating him, did some exploring. Uh, I found out that this road down here leads to a whole nother area down here. I thought that the uh, that the light uh, from the um, the gray shrines kind of would point my way around the game to experience the story, but I don't think that's the case because see if you come down here to this one, see this is pointing down, but the rest of these are pointing this way. So I know this map is huge. So what I'm thinking is. Is that maybe these just kind of point the the way to various things and not just pointing me around the map telling me which way to go <laughs> you know so i'm gonna see if we can treat this and um just explore on my own and treat it as if it was just me just playing the game just exploring and finding my own way so i think this is progression since this is where the main boss led to so before we hit that I want to see what's down here because I have a feeling this is like a whole nother side area and I want to see what's over here. Uh, I think this is a whole nother side area too. So we're going to explore both of these in this direction until we can't no more. And then we're going to go this way. Um, and I'm going to probably have to pull up a map on my end and just see if there's anything we missed in this area, because I'm sure this can't be all the different locations. Um, since I'm still seeing like many stuff on the map, like this looks like a house and a lake, uh, this thing here and various other things too. So before we head this way, we're going to check all this rest of the stuff and, you know, get to it when we get to it. But also, uh, like I said, we look a little bit different. So I got a couple more armor pieces from this one guy who wore this chest piece. I think I found him wandering around when I was exploring. So I killed him. He gave us the chest piece. The helmet and i also if i can find the right button here there we go we also have his sword here too um it looks okay but looks like it's very similar to uh the hammer looks like a very typical great sword kind of moves that guy that guy that's the guy who i'm talking about <laughs> so we got his stuff now uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this weapon but it, it looks pretty decent but we already have the hammer so uh that's leveled up so unless this does something important which you know i don't think it does um then i may not switch to it also checked out this weapon a little bit too um i ranked up my stats enough to actually use it uh so far it doesn't really do anything other than just has some really cool heavy attacks and you can kind of do that little flip attack that the boss did so this is okay but one thing i also noticed is I found out how to do those uh, weapon attacks and stuff like that. So the reason why I could never do them before was because you can't do them with, with, while you have a shield. So if I put my shield away, then we can do these special attacks that the weapons and stuff do to cause that peak. So I found out how to do all of that. So that's what you can do with that one. With the hammer though, let me switch back to that. Uh, since we put that, uh, what was it called? Uh, uh cries of war or something um hold on i don't know don't remember which menu it was at but it was in one of these things i think it was uh was it memorize spells no but it was some kind of weapon art that i put on that hammer so i found out what that was that's this this looks like it's gonna be the shit because <laughs> i know how much damage my hammer does and I can just do this all day, YouTube. Like, look at my FP. Look how many times I could do that. I can imagine just stunning a boss or just wailing into somebody like this with quick attacks. Because if this does as much damage as my normal swing, then that's going to be a lot of damage I can put on somebody in a short amount of time. So, loving that. I think with the Uchi Katana, you kind of slice your hand open and, I guess, attack with the sword. And that I'm assuming would maybe that makes the bleed damage already, you know, without having to build it up. So 
we're definitely going to be using this hammer with that uh with that weapon art there so now that we know how to do that we should be a little bit more formidable but let me see if i can find out uh, we can fight that guy again but we don't need to uh where was the path that way okay yeah that's where i'm going because i kind of ran through as i was exploring and i got to this bridge over here and it looks like it was something completely brand new like it was going to take me somewhere completely important but they had some people on the bridge that looked important and i saw a couple items and i was just like ah let me turn back so we're gonna go down here and just do some exploring to see what they have down here because i saw all these guys posted up but as soon as i got right here i think a little bit further up i seen an item yeah that item right there so i was like okay let me not go over there just yet because <laughs> i wanted to record that so all right let's test out our new armor and our new abilities let's go guy and i noticed they have like um war picks or pickaxes now so maybe we can get one of them instead of the regular uh shields because that may be just like another hammer weapon just not as strong as uh, what we got all right so that's giving me more armor that i have i think i have their whole set like twice over oh mm. but i took it though what you got I wasn't even blocking. Oh, I ain't taking that time. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was getting cocky. <laughs> also leveled up the flask a little bit too, so that's why we got seven instead of six like we had before. All right. How are we going to get around that? I might just have to run and get behind it and then fight everybody. That's probably going to be my best bet. Okay. Ooh. All right, I'm guessing. Okay, so he, he can't, he can't turn it. Okay, so that, that's good. He can only fire straight, okay. See, if this is real life, he, he, would, he would be able to turn that a little bit, but yeah, that's, that's all he can do. Okay. What's up, guy? You guys weren't even gonna try to, try to defend uh, your boy right here, huh? Oh, you got some legs on you, guy. Must have had some African ancestry. Just jumping all the way up here. That's like a 10-foot vertical. All right. Uh, see what we got right there. He gave us something. Oh, it was a chess piece. Oh, okay. That's just the clothes we first switched to when we started the game. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, another one of those. Okay. That is good. So if we encounter two of those goblin statues, then we can crack them open and see what they got behind them. Can I do anything with that? Oh, nope, smoldering butterfly. All right, let's uh, see what they got past the bridge. Oh, race point right there. Looks like, uh, no, that's not a path that way. So we got that path here. And is that a lady sitting right there? All right. See what she's all about in a second. Let me get this here. And I might as well sit down and refresh my stuff. And also what I may do too is um, I read up a little bit about the day and night cycles of the game. I didn't pay it no mind. I just thought that day and night would just kind of just happen in the world. But I think apparently if you let it or if you sleep until night or something like that, like at the grace points, um, a lot of websites were saying that m more things happen at night. So I've noticed it's mostly in the daytime that we've been, you know, exploring. So I may have to, you know, see what that's all about because they said that the monsters get bigger and better and, um, uh, you, we, we may get better rewards for doing it too. 
So we may have to try that out for a video or two. Hello. Plus, Hello. certain people only show up at night too. Bend your ear for a moment, please. My name is Arena. Yes, ma'am. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I, I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. Okay, so do you want me to check things out? I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle, my sole wish is that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Yeah, I mean, I'll help you out, but... I mean, if he feels if it's his duty to stay there, then that letter may not change his mind. Thank you. Dearly. Then please, take this. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Okay. Please, if you wouldn't mind. Alright, so... Alright, let's see if, uh... This may be like the other mission where we helped uh, the noble guy over here. <laughs> when he was like, oh yeah, go to my castle and, uh, you know, do my thing. So that was, that was down here, so... This may take us across this land until we get, like, over here where her castle is. I'm guessing... It's somewhere in here, so since she said she came from the south. Alright. See if we can knock this out. On a mission to help a pretty lady. That I can do. Ooh, big man. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we could probably take him now that we're super strong. And we got the buff too. Uh are you just Resting or Yep, you're resting. Alright, so I'm probably gonna have to pull him this way. Cause I see all those guards over there and the dogs and everything. Unless they just suddenly trigger once we uh pull him. Are you just gonna let me walk up on you guy? Cause I'll try my move. Yeah, take that. I'll keep swinging. I have enough to eat, you know? <laughs> I mean, we can get the job done. <laughs> oh, Wolfies, get out the way. Ow. Alright, I gotta stay close to him. I gotta finish him. Yeah, that move is super strong. Love it. Yep, we didn't have to waste a lot of heals doing that. Okay. Yeah. Like that a lot. Strip of white flesh. Ew. I found another piece of meat off of a person like that. So were they like eating each other? Except the other piece I found was like strip of meat. It didn't say white meat. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of... Why am I pulling strips of meat off of people? I can understand if it was like the, the wolves or the dogs or something, but I thought I heard them. Yeah, but these dogs are all like zombified anyway. Alright, uh... Wasn't there another guy back here? Come on. Oh, I do not have my shield. I'm sitting here holding up my arm. I was like, I was like, where's my shield at? Because I seen the character do that. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Alright. Got to remember to put that back on every time we uh, use one of our enhanced abilities or something. These harpies? They got wings on their back. No, these are the uh, goblin creatures just with wings. Swing and a miss. All right. Get out my face. Like 
You want some too? Mmm. 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 Alright, I want to go back to that sacred point behind us, but that might cause everybody to respawn, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to press forward. Still haven't figured out what those glowing skulls are, though. Just got to probably type that in Google, see what that's all about. <laughs> what are the glowing skulls on the ground in Elden Ring? Just see what pops up. Because it probably means something. Because otherwise, why would they be glowing? You know, even if they wanted to put skulls on the ground. Why would they be glowing like that? So maybe you need like some kind of special item or something to take stuff out of it or something. Because they're all over the place. Oh, no, wait, it's one of you guys. This is kind of like the uh, crystal lizards from uh, Dark Souls. But I think it'll give you back. No, that gave me something else. Okay, so that I guess that's the uh, art of war for a bow. Yeah, okay. But yeah, what those are is like the crystal lizards. I know in, in, in Dark Souls, you run up on them and they give you um, weapon upgrade materials and stuff like that. Uh, in this, I think there's two variations. I think those give you like the weapon arts and stuff. And then they have a, a different colored version that will give you your Estus flasks back. Or whatever the flasks are called in this game. So if you have, let's say, one left, and if you kill the one that's different colored, then it'll basically give you either all of your charges back, or just maybe like one or two charges back. I forget which, because I, I think when I killed it, I was already full. <laughs> so, but I think that's what it said when I picked it up. All right, so that may be her castle right there. All right, if that's her castle, then what's this way? Oh, you know what? I mean, oh crap! Did not mean to waste that, but guess it is what it is. And I think, yeah, what is this flask? Let me see something. Because I know this one is the one that gives me my buff. So what is this? Oh, okay, so that's like the normal flask, but for FP. Okay. I don't have I don't have nothing in it because I think I took the charges out of that and put them with the regular Estus flasks. Well, not Estus flask, but the health one. Ah, I got to get in the habit of calling the stuff in this game what it is, and not trying to refer it to uh, something from Dark Souls. Ooh, another grace point. I can get my stuff back there. All right, save you real quick. All right. All right, let me finish exploring on this side and then we can go back to that castle place. Because this may just be taking me back, but just on a different ele elevation here. So far, I'm not seeing anything. Outside of just like random enemies and stuff. What is this? All right, poisonous evil flowers. See if we can just run through, grab all of this stuff. We can leave them alone. All right, that's the thing that'll let me survive a jump. Ooh, okay. Let me, yeah, get away from them. What? 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 Ooh, okay. Must be them still trying to hit me. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh, those bats came out of nowhere. Ooh, is this a cave? Yes, it is. All right. All right, let's see if we can get this location here. What is this? Mourn Tunnel. All right. See what's down here. And I think I also... Um, Wait, was that a path? I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my uh, my buffs and debuffs. But um, I also found out what that uh, that one, uh, what was it called? Something, something blessing that we got from giving that lady a hug. I read up about that. And apparently what that is, 
is you get a debuff from her. So that's why I have the, uh, oh crap, my health bar is not showing up right now. Okay. But, um, there's a, a red box on, um, the heck is that? Must be some kind of rock I can break off, but yeah, see up there, that red box with the down arrow. Uh, I think that means my health is down. So what, what that is, is she gives you a debuff to your health, but in return, you get a item here, this, that you can use to increase your poise. So you can pop this and use it if you're fighting somebody really strong and you don't want to be knocked back. And um, once it goes away, you can always go back to that lady and get another one. So I may not be using it since my poise is already okay. You know, so we don't have to really use it, but I don't mind taking the debuff to health for increasing poise. I really don't. So it is what it is. Uh, yeah, let me do this. Cause there's probably something down there. All right, that's gonna get me killed if we jump down there. So let me leave that alone. And this probably has a boss at the end of this too. Let's see what we got. All right, more of you guys. What's up, guy? Try to jump at me. What's wrong with you? All right, so we got one path going up and path going down and they're chopping up somebody down there. All right, he's an archer. All right, so we probably got to take that at a time. I can't fight those guys and be peppered with arrows, so might have to drop down over here and just bait them out one at a time. Oh, you want some of this? The body builds just look all kind of messed up. Yeah, you want some of this. Yeah. You want the title. All right. Uh... I guess I'm going to have to walk that beam. I could, could probably jump over there, but I may be able to surprise this guy if I sneak my way across here. Nope. Oh, okay. Hurt, hurt him. Get across before he knocks me off. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Can he come back up here? Uh, maybe. Ran off somewhere, so okay. I'm going to assume he's going to be back. Does this lead down there? No, it does not. Uh, let's figure out where this goes. This may be progression in this cave area, but... Ooh, there's two of them. I didn't even see that guy. I was trying to mark this one. I didn't even see those two. I wasn't even paying attention. I seen the guy over there. And then this guy. I was like, uh, you know, all right, let me lock on to this guy. And then it locked on to this one. This one right here. Alright, we may just have to fight three of them at a time. Or we can probably... Uh, let me see. Let me turn off that. We can probably jump over here and then just beat him for a second and kill him. That way it's a 2v1 fight versus three. That might be a best bet. Alright. Yep, going with the heavy. Hit you. Ooh, blocked you just in time. Oh, you guys, you shouldn't be jumping up like that. Not when I can do a heavy attack and knock you back. That could have went better if I planned it. All right, these guys usually kind of leave you alone. But I think they're strong against physical attacks, but I want that smith and stone right there. So we're going to do this. Our strength is really good. That's my stone. Debo, Debo that from him. Let's see, are you gonna get up, guy? Yep, you're an enemy. All right, so yeah, we got a bunch of paths in here. All right. Just let me keep it pushing. Gonna, we're going to explore all of this cave and 
if there is a boss at the end, we're going to try to fight it. All right. I uh, see a chest. The glowing guy. That guy there. That guy there. Are they going to rush in when I fight this guy right here? Because this will be a perfect place to trap me in. Yep. Thought so. Come on. Come on with it. Don't get scared now. He's, he's seen I killed his friend. He was like, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not sure if I want a piece of that. I mean, he ran up here like he was going to do something. All right. Uh, what do we got? Exalted flesh. I think I have some of that. That's something else I got to do. I got to get used to uh, using all the side uh, items that we can use to enchant our weapons or use against enemies. I want to try to make like a poison bow. Because usually in the Souls games, I usually have like one poison weapon. So I'm going to try to do a poison bow because I think uh, I can buy some poison arrows. So if I can buy just like a hundred of those, maybe if we encounter a certain enemy, I can just, uh, you know, like the dragon or something strong like that. Or, or one of those, not the big bosses, but the world bosses that just be walking around. Um, the stronger enemies where well, we can poison them and just, you know, not fight them. So that's my idea with that. All right, let's go back here and we got that path all the way back up. And that just led to, ooh, cave is glitchy as hell. I haven't had those little stutters in a while, so <laughs> I was counting my blessings, but I guess uh, once we come to these other areas of the game, it's gonna start back up again. Usually I only get them in like the open world part, but I guess it's whenever the game loads in more data to load up additional areas. But it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to worry about it. I know the game is glitchy on PC right now, so. Oh, so this leads back here. Okay. All right, so we got an explosive barrel there. I could just probably lure everybody back to this cave area and find them. Yeah, get out of here, guy. You were the one from up top that fell down. Oh, what was that? What was that kind of uppercut I did with the hammer? I heard, did I like counter his move? Cause I heard like a little chum. Oh, game, don't do that. That's right, come in this small space where I can just like swing my hammer one time and hit everybody. All right, we got one left, come on. That's it. Oh, I know what that is. I must be overwhelming their defense. That's what that is. Because that's the same sound that um, when I hit a big enemy and, and stagger them. So that must be what I'm doing. I'm hitting them so hard that it's just almost like it's knocking them down. But not physically, but knocking them down enough to where they're stunned. That's probably what that is. Yeah, that couldn't have worked out better if I tried. All right, let me grab this. What is this? Arteria leaf. Looks pretty. Right, let me not hit this thing right here next to this guy. Oh, they don't explode? Okay. I just assumed they were explosive barrels, but I guess not. Grab that. Yep, yep, gotta get yours too. Alright, so we got that path down there. And another path down here. Let me try this way, because... Oh, nope, you got a rock too. Ooh, okay. So I gotta charge my attack to kill you in one hit. But you got that magic pixel. There we go. Need these smithing stones the way I can level up my uh my weapons here. Got me out here picking cotton, YouTube. I don't believe that. As a black man, that makes me feel some type of way. For obvious reasons. Uh, let's see what this door is down here. Boss door, maybe. 
Uh, no, if I see one of those statues, that's what that probably means. But, uh, we still got our buff, so yeah, we can probably take, uh, whatever boss we have in here. Let me see. Another giant? I just see just a fire in there. I don't see nobody else. In the worst case, we can probably just run out unless they put a fog wall right here. Nah, eh, it can't be that simple. Nope, you're a bad guy. Okay, scaly and mis misbegotten. Alright, let me get my flask up for the buff. Oh yeah, you're, you are... Alright, you can't take a hit, so yeah, this might be a, a easy fight here. I may actually not have to use all my, all my stuff. And you're big and slow too? Probably just overwhelm them. I just gotta keep hitting them. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Be with you in one sec, guy. Alright, time for you to die. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> see ooh rusted anchor okay yeah see when i seen that guy right i thought he was just like one of the normal enemies like the ones we've been fighting the ones with the wings i thought that once i came out here like it was gonna look like it was gonna be one but then once i came out and fight him like more would jump out and i would have to fight like five or six of them at the same time yeah well, like it's just you <laughs> just by yourself <laughs> You're like you're gonna need like you better be either super strong or you better you know have some kind of debuff on the ground that makes me poisoned or something because because yeah strength for strength yeah you yeah, yeah you're not beating me and i'm not even super strong the way i want to be yet, but with this buff this hammer and all my points and strength and like i you know i i, I hit kind of hard we smash good all right. That thing was going to take me back to the beginning, but I just want to finish looking around here because I think we have a few other paths that we haven't went down. I think we went down there, but I think we left one back up here where we first came in at above that main area. There was a couple ladders going up. You can see where they go to. It may just lead to another smithing stone. Yep, okay. I was right. What's up, guy? Alright, so I guess that's it for that cave. I thought it was going to be more to it, but... It is what it is. Sit down, get my stuff back. Then we can get up out of here. All right, YouTube, let me end this video here since we're about a half hour in. And when we come back, we're going to explore more of this area and see if we can make it to that castle that lady was talking about. I will see you guys in the next one.